Welcome to Blood, Sweat, and Gears. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the WorkPad Mini uh, Half Inch Impact Wrench. Uh, I bought this off of Amazon uh, Prime for about $53, uh, just as a uh, kind of point of reference. Uh, there are also AC Delco and Campbell Housefield, uh, which are equivalent to this. Now, the WorkPad Mini takes a half inch socket drive, uh, so that's what we have right here, a quarter inch uh, air nipple. Uh, this is included in the kit as well. The maximum torque for this is 500 foot pounds, uh, that would be at 90 psi. Now, the size is approximately five inches by about three and a half, so let's see, yeah, they have five, actually, that's bigger than that. I guess it's talking here is five by three and a half plus the handle, uh, but ov overall it's about eight inches by, you know, about six inches for the whole footprint. It's fairly lightweight, uh, weighs in at just over three pounds, and when in operation, it's, it's actually fairly quiet. Uh, it's running at about 112 dB when you've got it at uh, a full blast. And to put it in perspective, that's about 60 dB for a conversation. Your car horn is about 90 dB. Um, at a rock concert, that's 120. So since you're doing this in short bursts, uh, it's really not that bad. Um, but you may want to consider some hearing protection, uh, especially if you're going to be doing this over a prolonged period of time. Now, as an added uh, note, you know, since you know, we're pretty much beginners here, really make sure you do have eye, hand protection, and hearing protection when you're working uh, along with uh, power tools like this, because if this uh, lets loose or something flies off, something breaks, you know, you want to protect yourself the best possible. Now, out of the box, this is actually really easy to set up. Uh, I put some pipe tape um, on the nipple, bolted it right in, um, added some pneumatic uh, tool oil down here, and you want to do that daily. Anytime that you use it, just put a few drops down. Uh, if you do have a, um, what is it, an oiler that's an inline oiler for your compressor, then you won't need to do that. But uh, if you want to keep this rust free, keep it operational, do make sure that you lubricate it every time that you use it. So let's take a look at this in action. And we got that off, switch it over, we'll get this threaded, three or four threads, and, and on it is. Now looking at this, this is actually not a bad beginner um, garage mechanic device. I actually like it, uh, though there were a couple things that miffed me about this just a little bit. First, there were no instructions included, but really, it's simple to operate. You've got your reverse, a couple speeds, um, so you've got full reverse, half reverse, and then you've got half forward, three quarters forward, oh, I'm sorry, full forward. So it's full forward, half, half, reverse. And then there's your go button. The first time I tried it, I set up my compressor at 90 PSI, but it would not break the lug nut off. I noticed a dip in pressure, so I upped the pressure and it worked fine. Now, I have a six gallon uh, reserve tank. I probably recommend going to at least an eight gallon if you're going to be using this over an extensive period of time. My big complaint here is that I was unable to get the socket off the first time I put it on. So I put it on, I used it, and no matter what I did, I could not get this thing off. I actually had to take a rubber mallet and a screwdriver to get that off. Now you noticed it came off really easy this time. What I wound up having to do was file all four sides of the drive. And I got the uh, the ring here as well so that was filed down a little bit I added lithium grease so now if I can get it on it comes on it stays on well and comes off so that was my big complaint along with not having 
the instructions. So overall, a good value for the home mechanic for occasional use, I give it four steering wheels. I took off for having to file it and no instructions. And that's all there is. Hey, make it a great day and may the Lord richly bless you and together, let's make some blood, sweat, and gears.